Hero and Leander is a poem by Christopher Marlowe based on the Greek myth of Hero and Leander. The poem was first published posthumously, five years after Marlowe's death. The poem starts with a description of the eponymous young lovers. Hero is described as a beautiful virgin, dedicated to serving Venus, the goddess of love. She is described as Venus's nun. Leander is described as being very handsome. Although both of them are physically beautiful, it is also stated that they possess more than human beauty. Hero's beauty is such that the love god, Cupid, mistakes her for the most beautiful of goddesses, his mother, Venus. Leander is described as being so handsome that even men find him attractive in spite of themselves. Marlowe insinuates that he is so handsome he is almost feminine. Later in the poem, Marlowe goes into detail about his muscular, masculine figure. The feminization of Leander's beauty is attributed to the conventions of Renaissance poetry, in which there was a limited vocabulary to describe male attractiveness. In this particular case, the homoerotic undertones of Leander's beauty are actually a foreshadowing of events to come. The two lovers live on opposite sides of the Hellespont. Hero lives in Cestus, where she remains a dutiful virgin to Venus, making sacrifices in honor of the goddess and maintaining her sexual purity. She makes her first appearance in the poem in a sacred grove, sacrificing turtle doves to the goddess. In spite of her vow of chastity, her beauty incites the desires of many men. Leander lives across the water in Abydus. The two lovers first meet during the annual festival of Zeus, who is one of Venus's lovers. Marlowe's description of their first encounter is a memorable one, sometimes extracted as a standalone love poem. It suggests the idea of love at first sight, something that is echoed in Shakespeare's work later on. Leander falls in love with Hero when he first lays eyes on her, and soon after, she is shot by Cupid's arrow, causing her to fall in love with Leander in turn. The two speak of their mutual attraction, however, Hero insists that she has made a promise to Venus to maintain her virginity at all costs. Leander uses clever rhetoric to attempt to convince Hero that being a virgin is no way to pay tribute to the goddess, but Hero, feeling that she must remain true to Venus, returns to her tower. Leander returns home across the water to Abydus. His father can tell simply by looking at him that he has fallen in love. Leander cannot stand the thought of not being with Hero, and he goes to stand upon the rocks where he gazes across the water at Hero's tower. He feels that it is almost physically painful to be apart from her, and when he can stand it no longer, he takes off his clothes and dives into the water, prepared to swim to her. As Leander is swimming, Neptune sees him and mistakes him for another handsome young man, Zeus's cupbearer Ganymede. Having longed to have this man for himself, Neptune takes the opportunity to steal him from his brother god. He catches Leander and takes him into the depths of the sea to his palace. Marlowe describes the surroundings of the palace, filled with sea nymphs and mermaids, sunken treasure. Once Neptune realizes that Leander is almost drowned, and therefore cannot be Ganymede, who was made immortal by Zeus, the god brings Leander back to the surface. Able to breathe once again, Leander continues to swim towards Cestus, but Neptune follows him just below the surface of the water. He kisses and caresses Leander as he tries to swim toward Hero, which frightens him greatly. Neptune will not relent, continuing to caress him and talking of love. Once again, Leander's sexual ambiguity is brought up. He tells Neptune he is no woman. Neptune, at last, seeing that Leander will not give in to him, sadly lets him go. When Leander finally reaches Hero's tower, he knocks on her door, buzzing with anticipation. Hero is surprised to find Leander standing there, dripping wet and naked. She brings him inside. She offers to dry him off and since he is cold, she lets him lie next to her in bed. They engage in amorous embraces, but Hero, mindful of the value of her sacred chastity, attempts to hold Leander off for a time. Eventually, they are both overcome by their feelings, so much so that Hero put her vow to Venus out of her mind and, 
Though they are both a little unsure of how to proceed, they consummate their love. The poem ends as morning dawns. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.